Here we have all six Hexbug Transformers Warriors. These are the bigger fighting cousins of the Hexbug Nano Transformers. It's going to pop a couple out there, which I'll review in a different video. These Hexbug Transformer Warriors are exactly the same large scale size as the original Hexbug Warriors, and they all have interchangeable weapons and armor. So each of these sets comes with both the bug, fully loaded with double, double batteries, as well as armor and weapons. They are interchangeable, but as you can see, they're color coded. It's up to you whether you want to change the armor and weapons around. So we've got Autobot Crosshair, We've got Autobot Drift on the front, and on the back and the left, we've got Bumblebee, Optimus Prime, Galvatron, and Lockdown. Fully compatible with the Hexbug Warrior Battle Arena. We're going to see all these six guys fighting. Let's see who the victors are going to be. Here they are, all out of the box and all created and set up exactly as they are shown on the packaging. So I've got Optimus Prime here on the left and Galvatron on the right. Now, a lot of the hex bugs, all except Optimus Prime, have got this flap lid facing where they can actually show their allegiance hidden under a flap. Optimus Prime has no flap. He's the only one that doesn't, and uh, but proudly sports a much flashier paint job, very much like uh, he looks in Transformers Age of Extinction. So it's a very cinematic kind of feel to this particular Optimus Prime. I'm going to zoom in to go through some of the details. Okay, so as you can see various parts of the units actually hinge, rotate, some of them rotate, some of them vibrate up and down and that's all done by the power of the vibration inside here. So both motion and all the weaponry is powered by the same motor. So if I hold down the button, there's only one button at the bottom for one second, turns it on and it's now in proper battle mode. I'm going to just quickly grab and do the same to Optimus, uh, to Galvatron. So Optimus has got something to fight against. And as you can see, his mandibles are jostling and fighting away. And you can also see Optimus Prime's axe going up and down. So as they tussle with each other, the indicator light on the backs will change from green to red. And eventually one of them will get bashed up so much that it's health life and it is a battle mode. It is in battle mode here. It's health will deteriorate to the point where it's no longer able to function and it will actually deactivate. So Optimus Prime is already looking worse for the wear, although his axe is chopping up and down. Galvatron is nibbling with his mandibles and seems to be doing well, although Galvatron's also now flashing away. He's lost his mandibles. Obviously Optimus Prime chopped him with his axe, but to no avail, Optimus has now been pushed out of the arena. Now, even though he got pushed out of the arena, he's also stopped vibrating. So I've popped him down there. You can see he's actually not moving anymore. And that's because the fall was actually the last damage it was able to take. So Galvatron won this round. And Optimus Prime, although he's got the axe and he should be really chopping down on Galvatron, didn't do so well. And that's it. One win for Galvatron. So as you can see, the mandibles have come off. Now, that's absolutely fine in, in a battle. Any of the weapons and shields and armor can all be detached. I'm actually going to turn Galvatron off just briefly there. He's actually got some really impressive arms that are articulated so they can be hinged so they can fold back so they can be out of the way. Now, why would you want anything out of the way? Now, I've actually got a little bit of a Hexbug Nano Track 1 in the background here. I'm just going to show that they do fit, but not well. So I folded his arms up. Now, he's just going to whiz around and you can see him go in circles. Um, so they take up the full width, so they can't really work with Hexbug Nanos at the same time. Or if they can, or if they do, they've got to be in the same direction because they, there's no way they can overtake. And absolutely, you're going to quickly see they're pretty fast and quite powerful. So poor old Hexbug Nano Bumblebee is being chased around the place by Hexbug Warrior Galvatron. And uh, that's just the way they are. So they're not really incompatible, but they're not completely compatible. So there is one other side thing I can do though. I could shove a Hexbug Nano Transformer bot or two into this arena. So this arena has got really nice curved sides. It's not like the Hexbug Nano Trans, uh, it's not like the Hexbug Nano V1 arena in that it hasn't got compatibility with the Hexbug Nano track. But these guys are actually quite happy jostling around and these little guys can actually beat up Galvatron. Now that's only because the Hexbug Nanos, as you know, have got no damage sensor and they will run until their batteries go flat and they're doing quite a good job there. 
and Galvatron is actually regretting taking on these two guys. And uh, in fact, if I bring in another one to help, although it does look like Optimus Prime's over, he's managed to get himself upright again. Bumblebee's now over. You can actually see the health of Galvatron already red, and it won't take too many more knocks before I think he's out of the uh, out of the game. Now I do think the expert nanos are able to duck underneath a lot of the damage-inducing damage-inducing sharp parts of Galvatron. So if I fold down his uh, main weapons, he's probably going to be able to push out those guys a lot easier now. So I've got a full-size Bumblebee raring to go, and as you can see, its front blade is actually spinning. So these things are very cleverly designed, so the vibration makes all of these all these articulated parts move. So there's a couple that have got axes that go up and down like Optimus, some have got spinning blades, some have got little daggers on the front that go up and down. Now, Optimus Prime Mini, poor old Nano, actually did survive and destroyed Galvatron there. But I'll be honest, it wasn't a fair fight because, as I said, there's no damage sensors on these old Hexbug Nanos. But Bumblebee's now in there. I'm going to reset Galvatron, so again, I'm going to just turn them off. Turn them on again, one second. And they're fighting again as I quickly grab Hexbug Nano Bumblebee to get him out of the way. He can carry on walking around the uh, his Nano Track. Good spectators that they are. And whilst those two tussle away, I'm just going to quickly show you that you really can remove and place these armour and weapons anywhere. The joints are universal. So you could decide you only want to armour plate one side of this particular uh, monster. And uh, you can have him going around or battling and see how he fares. Now that doesn't work necessarily for you, then you can rearrange it for the next battle. One last quick point. It's actually the first point you need to take care of. There's actually a plastic battery protector that you need to remove. If you don't do that, the unit won't actually work because the batteries are in effect disconnected and turn. It's a nice clever little battery saving mode that they put into the packaging and you're more likely to get batteries that are, are fuller as opposed to demo batteries. Now of course you need to have some spare batteries. Um, they only take two 1.5 volt cell batteries, very small batteries in there and I've got a video that shows you how to change them if you'd like to have a watch. As you can see, these guys are raring to go. Now there's six of them in total. So what I'm gonna do is actually have at least seven battles. So let's see how that goes. Um, I'm gonna make the arena a bit bigger than this. This is a little bit too small because I do want all six in. And as you can see, you need a bit more space. So I'm gonna have about four of these cells set up on a larger arena. And we're gonna see how it fares. Good guys versus bad guys. Let the battle commence. To balance the teams, what I've done is I've actually put Drift as his former self and he's now Deadlock. So we've got Deadlock and Lockdown with Galvatron up against Optimus Prime, Bumblebee and Crosshair. What I'm going to do, because I can only put so many of these warriors in at once, is I'm always going to put the bosses in first. So we're going to have Optimus and Galvatron go in first. Once they're going, I'm then going to put again one each of each side in until all six are in. Push outs or still movements, i.e. their battle sensors say they're out. And let's see which team is the winner at the end. Okay, let's get them both buzzing. And in they go. Again, I'm not going to put them in into the buzzing. Let's see how these guys do. I need a bit of space to put them in. That'll have to do. Okay, all six are in. Any push outs or knockouts? Or turnovers, well, maybe turnovers in the game I'll leave in the arena, but if they're pushed out and already crosshair looks precocious, he's actually blocking Drift Deadlock as it is. Already a couple have gone orange. Optimus is already flashing red. Galvatron's red, and we've already got a knockout. So already our first loss. Oh, and there goes Bumblebee as well. So we've lost crosshair and Bumblebee. Let's see how we're doing now. We've got a good tussling air in the middle. I find with the battle arena is too big. Optimus is out. Let's take him out of the way. He's obstructing, and so is Galvatron. And we're now down to just Gal. We're now down to our final drift, and of course lockdown. Well done, lockdown. You're actually the final winner, but your team won. So it was a really uh, resounding win there. So I think Galvatron really led his uh, troops into battle very well. Let's get on with the second battle. 
Okay, round two. Let's get the big guys in. Both buzzing away, and let's quickly get in the next two. I think I goofed there by putting Bumblebee in. My fault, let's do him again. He goes in with Deadlock. Okay, so all fighting well, all green lights. Good melee going on in the middle here. Quite a few of the Transformers are keeping their flat doors open showing their size. Unfortunately, we've just lost Bumblebee. I think I cursed that game for him from the outset when I didn't start him properly. We've got quite a few red lights now already. Lockdown, Optimus, and even a deadlock. And there goes Optimus. Oh dear, we're going to have a bad situation here. Let's cross there, can do something amazing here. He's on his own. And he's up against Galvatron. Galvatron's red. I think we just lost ourselves. Galvatron, oh my goodness, that was incredibly close at the very, very end, but Crosshair, victorious. Well done, the good guys. Okay, third round, and it's one each team so far. Let's get the big guys in again. Hopefully I do a better start for Bumblebee this time. That's clean up, both in together. And we're all in. And unfortunately, Deadlock's on his side. That's not going to do him any favours. I wonder whether the heavy axe of Optimus Prime is uh, pushing him out sometimes. There goes Lockdown, already out. Deadlock's still on his side. Now, I'm not so keen about the, uh, the default weapon setup for Deadlock, so I've got all the weapons and armour exactly as they are, out of the box, as it were. So I've got them sort of, let's call it stock. But I'm convinced that his uh, side weapon pointers should be on the other way around because they fold shut in all combat. Optimus Prime fell out, led out with his axe. Not so good, not so good. Bumblebee's having a good attempt to keep Deadlock down. Unfortunately, Galvatron's on him, so let's hope uh, Bumblebee can handle himself against the Galvatron. Seems to be quite a mighty warrior, and Bumblebee, and he's getting help now from Crosshair. Some good melee going on, I've got to watch the lights. Okay, Galvatron's out, and so's Bumble Bumblebee. So we got ourselves now, oh my goodness. <laughs> well done, Deadlock. Even though you're on your sides, you won. Crosshair just managed to nick himself on the side, and all is fair in love and war. So I'm gonna quickly just show you what I mean by poor old Deadlock's side weapons here. So as you can see, they can start outward at the very beginning. But the way they've been designed by default is they fold away too quickly. So although he's got his front spinning blade, he's got some nice rear tail pointers going on there. He never really gets to deploy his uh, side weapons a great deal. So probably not whilst we're having this stock battle, but I think that needs to be the other way around. Okay, round four. Let's get the big guys going in. Nice clean start. Oops, nearly had Bumblebee at a disadvantage again. Need a bit of space. Gabatron's lost his front mandibles. Anybody loses anything, they're staying out for the game. Okay, unfortunately, Optimus Prime and his heavy axe is out again. I think the axe is actually causing him more trouble than it's worth. Gabatron is also looking a little bit wounded. Although we've got some good snap around work going on by lockdown, and Crosshair is also doing well. Not so sure Deadlock's being so much on the battle. Bumblebee on its side, risking falling out now. And actually what happens is Deadlock goes out. Unexpected there. Bumblebee's still in the game. We've got ourselves a dead Galvatron. Bumblebee on his side again. Try not to interfere too much. Quite congested with six of the guys in this arena. Bumblebee's still in the game, but on his side. And we've now lost Crosshair. Bumblebee's gone, and it's a win for Lockdown. Another win for the bad guys. This doesn't look good. Next round. Let's get them in, nice and quick. Come on, Optimus. Get in the fight. <laughs> okay. They're going over there. All six are in. That's good. Okay, obviously the uh, Optimus and Galvatron going in so early, they're obviously going to take a bit more damage than all the others, so uh, I expect them to be 
damaged earlier. Optimus is just particularly bad at staying in this arena for some reason. I'm really looking forward to rearranging those weapons. I think his front axe needs to come off. Okay, we've got some good group fight. Oh, Bumblebee's on the edge. If anybody knocks Bumblebee and he's over, we've got a great cluster going on here. Galvatron just didn't see what's going on. Oh, Bumblebee's so nearly out. And now we've also got, oh my goodness, what's going on here? Okay, we've got a couple of dead. Bumblebee's still alive. So is uh, Lockdown. Crosshair is pushing past. Be careful, you could have Bumblebee out. Now, that was my fault, I apologize. However, as we can see, actually Bumblebee <laughs> won that fight. So whilst I was removing Crosshair to get him out of the battle, I actually knocked Bumblebee out of the arena. So I'm sure if we all replay that, we can see that was actually fair. And already, Lockdown had stopped working, so he'd already shaken himself to pieces. So actually, win for the good guys, well done Bumblebee. Let the battle commence. Let's get Gavatron and Optimus tussling as we bring in the rest of the team. All six in, Galvatron out. Early out for Galvatron. He's normally in for the battle for longer than this. Certainly that gives the good guys an advantage this early on. A lot of good health going on. Optimus is probably the only one that's uh, blinking orange at the moment. Although I can see Deadlock also worse for wear. If only Optimus could get his axe in on the bad guys, we'd be much better off. Crosshair doing his thing. He's having some good contact with Deadlock there. Optimus is, seems to be moving correctly this time. He's actually spinning around quite nicely. And we've just lost Deadlock. Looking good for the good guys. It's all down to lockdown. Lockdown's out. What an amazing win for the good guys. Now they're going to friendly tussle and beat them each other up. And I think Bumblebee's and... <laughs> Bumblebee and uh, Crosshair all having fun there against uh, Optimus Prime's expense, but again, Bumblebee just so, seems to be the most awesome of the good guys, but what an excellent win for Optimus Prime's team there. Okay, and here's the final round. Let's get the big guys going again. All going in quite smooth. Hopefully we get a bit of space before I add these guys in. That'll do. Two empty cells just to get them in fairly. All doing okay. I'm amazed by now Optimus hasn't already jumped out of the arena. That shouldn't do anything. Some good tussling in the middle here. That's quite good. And if Optimus can get his axe in, he's actually chopping down on Crosshair, which is not the idea. If you could do that on the bad guys, they'd be quite having to come on. Gabatron's right by you now. Optimus! Gabatron is doing and causing havoc. Only it's all down to Bumblebee. How many times have I said that? Go Bumblebee. I think we got a dead one here. We have. Deadlock's out. It's all down to you, Bumblebee. Bumblebee's on his side again. Gabatron is not taking any prisoners, but foolishly has had a go and bashed lockdown. It's really down to the fact that Gabatron has beaten up Bumblebee. Bumblebee, I've seen him do some good things on his side, but he was absolutely up against the uh, gigantic transformer that is Ga Galvatron. Well done, Galvatron. Bad guys win that round. Quick point regarding compatibility with the older Hexbug Warriors. All the parts are still interchangeable, so you could take off, for example, one of my favorite drill head pieces exchange that for Galvatron's pincers and you've got yourself an all majorly upgraded drill headed Galvatron you've even got room in the back to add a spinning blade that fits quite nicely above Galvatron's side poking arms as long as they stay down if these obviously are knocked up they'll block the spinning blade but you've got there a really OTT Galvatron Mega Plus, and uh, certainly he's ready for all comers. Does Optimus Prime stand a chance against upgraded Galvatron? I don't think so. 
He's getting some good axe hits in the back and the axe and the spinning blade are mostly entangled. Galvatron's actually worse for wear. Perhaps he's just too heavyweight now. Although Optimus Prime looks like he's getting some of that damage now. Can Galvatron get his blade spinning again before Optimus gets his axe on him? Come on, keep away from that axe, Galvatron. And they're only small light taps, but air-free contact counts in this game. It's all about the damage, it's all about the knocks and jolts. Come on Optimus, you've got to get that axe on him. You can use it as a ram. Knock him out, if you're lucky you can knock him out. That'd be good, come on Optimus. Nope, Optimus Prime's lost. Static red light, what a loser. Galvatron Extreme Enhanced, ready for all comers. Here's a quick look at the back of the box. So although the fronts all detail each specific transformer, the backs are all the same. Included additionally is a folded up instruction booklet that does explain the instructions of how to use the two button presses as well as how to change batteries. So a little bit of information there that's useful. And just so you know, they're the kind of batteries that you need. They're two very small 1.5 volt alkaline batteries LR44, also known as A76 or KA76 or V13GA. Okay, there are two modes of play. We just hold the button down for three seconds. You then don't start in battle mode, you start in what they call training mode. But the way I see it is if you're in a battle arena and you only want to have the battles with push outs, then actually having the guys in this kind of indestructible mode is probably a good way of doing it. So this way, they've got to push each other out of the arena, which I think is, you know, also a different kind of fun. But it means that the damage indicator doesn't do anything. And, you know, Bumblebee can have a whale of a time there playing around until the cows come home or one gets pushed out. And the pushing out is a bit more rare, especially when there's only two of them. So I'm actually going to stop these guys and just talk about a few of the actual features of a couple of these guys. So this is an interesting feature of the tail. It actually tucks under itself and can actually be held. So there's a bit of a weird thing. I'm not quite sure why it wants to hold its own tail, but certainly it can stay in place and maybe through some jostling and fighting, deploy itself. So it might self-deploy, for example. As you can see, a lot of the guys have got flaps. They can be flaps up or flaps down. It doesn't really matter. And some of the articulated features can actually be hinged up out of the way so that although it doesn't offer any more side protection to damage now gives it some really heavy rear weight and that might be something that you're after as well okay this is an extra battle kind of a post match and uh, i've made a couple of modifications so optimus prime i've actually moved his side blades further back trying to add a bit more weight to the rear because i do think it's a little bit front heavy and deadlock i've actually reversed the uh, side blades of it, so that actually head on, they're gonna stay open. So these are gonna be quite awesome and very wide angle attackers. So let's see how this, if at all, makes a difference. Grudge match on. Okay, they're all in. And I also repaired Galvatron, so his front mandibles are on. My goodness, Bumblebee, Crosshair already out. That's not good. Optimus, it's down to you, guy. Now he's actually staying in, which is always a good sign. And there's some friendly fire going on there. Maybe Deadlock's being accused of being drift in this ma match. Galvatron is uh, up to no good as always but all three are flashing red they're all in quite a weak state let's just see how what goes on galvatron's in a right friendly fire mode now i think optimus prime's axe is working better but he's still got two on him oh down to a fair fight now we're now down to lockdown and optimus this is how it should be proper grudge matches are always meant to be against the two big guys and they're side to side attacking and optimus he's stopped moving dead so really close, much closer battle than I've seen for a long time. Don't forget those guys went in first. Galvatron, absolute supreme warrior there. And I do think some slight improvements with the rear position 
of his uh, side axe blades but Galvatron, especially with his and added mandibles, the outright winner, grudge match extreme. I hope you enjoyed the video, please feel free to like, subscribe and comment.